Welcome to Movement Not Miracles on uh, Tuesday. Um, a bit of a cloudy Tuesday and it's still warm, so um, I'm not really complaining. Um, I'm Anna from Eat, Move, Be Happy and um, Movement Not Miracles is uh, your daily fix of the stuff that you can do to help keep your joints more mobile, to look after your posture and maybe to stretch through um, some of the muscles just to help ward off those aches and pains um, that we can get from either sitting still too long, maybe at a desk or workspace that you're not used to, um, or maybe just sitting still for a bit longer because uh, although lockdown is easing, there are still some restrictions in place. Um, so, and typically what's happening is I'm waking up in the morning and thinking, Oh yeah, okay. Um, I need, I need to do some work on this particular part of me, and today it's my back. So um, it's not just my upper back; it's all of it. So hopefully, we're going to go through um, some routines, some act, some exercises that will keep that will be active in moving through from our upper back and including our our lower back. Um, and we're going to start with a really effective simple one just a twist but a, you can do it seating or standing but a bit more of a mobility move rather than a holding of the twist I'm going to do mine standing because I have been seated for quite a long time and um, just about squish me in in the camera so um, standing with move my mat with your weight evenly distributed between your left and your right foot, hip, uh, feet about hip widths apart and if you just fold your arms, if you're seated you can still do this and we're just going to move thinking of bringing our shoulders forward and moving through the whole of our spine. So a nice controlled move so we're not just sort of flinging our arms around, we're, we're moving through, think of um, working through your core as well as moving through your spine. So your core should be active, you should, if you touch your tummy you should feel your muscles contracting so that they're working as well to try and get as much movement as you possibly can and I can feel the stiffness in between my shoulder blades when I do this but also it's a bit achy in my lumbar. So I am going to take it nice and steady today, um, but I do need to move it. Um, so what else have I got on my list? Side bends, my favourite. There's a reason these are my favourite. These really help my back. Um, so to start off with, we're just going to reach down one side and then the other. I'm not going to introduce my other arm yet because I just want to get some movement through my back to start off with. So again, as low as you can go, but focus on what you can do and just reach down. And I'm thinking of reaching down the side of my leg and bending through, pushing that hip out. And then we'll introduce the arm over the top so you get a nice stretch down your side as well. still in my upper back, it's not really hitting it yet, so we'll, the next one will, the next one's another one of my favourites, another couple of these, I'm just persuading my back that it needs to actually release, okay, so downward dog, um, so we're doing this one, it's a, a basic yoga move, a really good all over body stretch and mobility move posture um, stretches through the back of your legs stretches through your back and the action of your hands on the floor means you can work through um, your shoulder blades and um, I'm hoping to get some movement out of my upper back so I don't know whether you're going to be able to see me I might have to use move my mat a little bit and come to the side it's really difficult to get the right position. Okay, so 
hands flat on the floor, fingers spread nice and wide, and think of um, your weight. So think of feeling your weight through your, each finger, your thumbs and your little finger, so and the palms of your hand. So your weight is evenly distributed. Toes tucked under, and as we push back and lift up through our hips, really squeeze your shoulder blades onto the back of your chest. Let your head relax. You're probably going to be able to hear my dogs barking. Well, there's nothing I can do about that right now. And we'll bring that back down. A bit of a tactical waggle of the shoulders and then we'll do that one again. So, weight spread through all of the hands. If you don't pay attention to your hands, then you can forget to um, use your little fingers and your thumbs. I know it might sound really silly, but um, we can tend not to be active through our fingers. Um, and we need to be active to get the movement. Right, so you're aiming for, because I'm concentrating on my back, I'm not too interested in whether my heels are close to the floor. That would increase the stretch down the backs of my legs. But I'm trying, I'm lifting up through my hips and I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder blades together. If you lift your head up, that helps access that upper back. Really work hard through the arms. Okay, down we come. That feels a little bit better. Um, okay, so we're going to do um, a forward bend now. So this is, um, we're going to use the wall, in fact that wall. We're going to use the wall as a um, something to stabilise us. So we're not going to do a full forward bend because my lower back is um, feeling a little bit temperamental. So I'm being gentle with it. Um, if you are seated, you can do this forward bend using um, a table or a kitchen work surface to press your arms down. So you're still gonna hit, hinge forward from the hips. Um, if you're doing this standing, so again, you can use a work surface, um, but it's nice to use, you can also use a wall. So we're aiming to be far enough away from the wall so that you can push back down through your armpits but so that your legs are vertical. So you don't want your legs so far back that you are, you're reaching forwards. You want, so you get some stretch through the back of your legs as well. And then think of pushing hard into the wall and straightening through, extending through your armpits and squeezing your shoulder blades onto the back of your chest. And it's a, it's a similar action to the downward dog, but in a slightly different way. Okay, so we'll come up, a bit of a tactical waggle, and then we're gonna do that one again as well, because the second time is always better than the first. We've realized this. So again, get yourself set up, palms flat on the wall. Move back so that you are far enough back that you can get the extension through your armpits. Think of pushing your bottom backwards, but you've still got connection with the wall. And breathe, don't forget that bit. That's quite important. Okay. It's not gonna behave today. Um, right. These are not my favorite because I find them really hard. However, they are really good. So we're going to do the um, movements to really get into that upper thoracic, the rotation ones using the wall as um, a guide. So again, you can still do these if you're seated. If you're using kneeling using the wall, get yourself set up. So work through your glutes to stabilize your hips. That knee stays we're not leaning on the wall. Oh, you can't see me. That's not very good, is it? Hang on, I'm gonna to have to turn the camera. Bear with me. This is the challenge you have. So, you should be able to see me now. That's better. So we're not leaning 
on the wall, but we're using the wall as a, as a frame so you know um, we don't want to be leaning too far away, we want to keep our, our body as upright as possible. And the idea is that as you sweep your arm round, you stay as close to the wall as possible and keep both arms so that they are horizontal and I think have been pulled so I'm squeezing my shoulder blades there and I do find this hard but it does feel good in a really bizarre way. Okay and we'll do some on the other side so switch round in the knee up, arms out horizontally, squeeze through your glutes, don't let that back arch, so we don't want the bottom sticking out, we want your pelvis tucked under, so you're working hard through those glutes. And this is the one where I make a big noise if I don't do it properly, because I whack the things that are hanging on the wall, so you'll know. Connect. This one's hard. Okay, whilst I'm here, I'm going to do the next one, um, which is at the end of the range of this movement. So we'll do this on this side first. So we're getting into the finish position, and I'm just going to think of moving that back arm back. So I'm twisting a tiny bit. But because it's at the end of the range of movement, oh, can you hear my dogs? You're not going to get much movement at all. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So get yourself set up, and then it's this back arm that moves out. Don't let that knee cave into the wall. Okay. And then the final one of these is the crocodile rotation. So this time we swap knees. So this time it's your outside knee that's up. Your crocodile arms are here. Exactly the same setup with your hips, so you're working through your glutes to stabilise. And then this time, you're going to turn away from the wall and aim to get as, stay as close to the wall as you can without leaning on it. And really think of stretching with those arms. There we go. Oh, I actually touched the wall then, which is unusual and then we'll turn around and do the other side. There's obviously somebody outside which is not very helpful. Mental note, bring them in. Move around under control. One more. Okay. Right. Well, interestingly, I've still got some stiffness in my upper back, but it does feel better than when I when I started. So I'm probably going to revisit those a little bit later on this afternoon. But hopefully that's worked for you. Um, check out the website www.eatmovebehappy.com we've got lots more information around um, working out with us um, tips for changing your ways you can work through changing your relationship with food um, mental health series lots of articles on general health and well-being so go and have a look at the the website and obviously the peer support group where um, our online community and people support each other. So um, hopefully Movement Not Miracles is, uh, 
is helping you, and it, it doesn't matter when or how, or in fact, the more frequently you can keep moving and keep doing the mobility throughout the day, the better. Um, so don't just wait for these. <laughs> Sneak some in throughout the day. I'll definitely be doing some more of those later. Um, and I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Have a good Tuesday. I shall see you soon.